has said, God has made me to laugh and that all who here will laugh with me. May the Lord give you the blessing of Sarah, the kind of blessing that causes you to laugh. In the name of Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. I prophesy to you shame, reproach, mediocrity, and smallness. I curse it from your life forever. I curse it from your life forever. I curse it from your life forever. It says, you have turned my mourning to dancing and my sorrow to joy. I speak to you. Let sorrow give way in your life. Let sorrow give way in your life. Let sorrow give way in your life. In the name of Jesus. Anybody that is plotting evil against you, whether kidnap or accident or sickness, in the name of Jesus, let the earth open and swallow them. Let the earth open and swallow them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any charm, any coven, any satanic place in the name of Jesus that carries anything that belongs to you, I declare that the power fails instantly. Let me pray for someone who is trusting God for a job. In the name of Jesus, may Ebenezer, the helper of men, surprise you. In the name of Jesus, every ministry here, every business that is dead or dying, everything in your hand that is dying, you are holding something that is dying. I give it life now. Let it come back to life now. Your business comes back to life. Your body comes back to life. Your ministry comes back to life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Whatever has taken the glory of the Lord upon your life. For Samson it was Delilah that took that glory from him. For Gideon, something happened and he, the least person, the least in his father's house, all those idolatry brought them to a place of subjugation. Whatever has taken the glory of God upon your life, you used to be great. You used to be anointed. You used to be favored. Something happened and you just started drying up like a tree. In the name of Jesus, may the restorer restore you tonight. I say it again. May the restorer restore you tonight. May the restorer restore you tonight. Let me pray for you again. I'm praying for you. If there is any covenant that connects you to the grave, using sicknesses using accidents using plane crashes using kidnaps i decree and declare be released now be released now thank you jesus the lord is giving me one instruction please stretch your hands towards me the lord is saying i should speak over your hands your hand is a symbol of your productivity every good thing is received with the hands not the feet when i give you something you receive it with your hand no matter how heavy it is you will try even if someone assists you still with the hand i pray for you as god has instructed that you stretch it towards me if there is anything on your hand that is a cost to your blessings that does not allow in the name of Jesus, every chain holding your hand so that you cannot receive the reward God has for you. I break that chain now. I break balata. I break that chain now. Every blessing my God has released, may it enter your hand. 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 And that of your children. And that of your spouse. And that of your family members. 
in the name of Jesus sign this week may my God show that sign in the name of Jesus Christ now hear me in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I decree and declare that every request that has been here written as an act of your faith in the name of Jesus the resurrected King I declare let it return to you as testimonies let it return to you as testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ let it return to you as testimonies everyone here appointed unto death in the name of Jesus the son of the living God by reason of this prayer we avert death from your life we avert death from your family in the name of Jesus and prophetically I stand upon this request and I declare in the name of Jesus these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever in the name of Jesus Christ I'm praying for you in this troubled world in the midst of the turbulence that is depressing people saddled with fear saddled with all kinds of um, all kinds of things may the peace of God be given to you this night may the peace of God be given to you this night in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ where you have been crawling I place an anointing upon you begin to fly like the Eagles begin to fly like the Eagles hear me whatever has covered your glory covered your visibility so that those who need you and have what it takes to honor God in your life cannot find you in the name of Jesus I tear off that veil now I tear off that veil now find visibility find visibility find visibility in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah why have you been here 38 years I have no man to help me not that the water cannot be reached I have no man where is somebody who is in need of one man one man who becomes a helper to say what is your issue or oh, a job see me tomorrow where is the one man who is saying what is your issue or oh, a visa come and see me next week I pray for you the one man sent by God to be a destiny helper to your life in this season wherever they are I gravitate them towards your destiny <laughs> hallelujah let me pray for you in the name of Jesus it says haven't obtained help from the Lord I continue to this day I pray for someone the dimension of wealth you have not seen I call upon my God the God of Jeshurun the one who rides upon the wings of the wind may my God surprise you 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 open up strange financial gates for you connect you to strategic helpers give you wisdom to manage and multiply your resources in the name of Jesus Christ hear me and your acquisition of financial resources would not be at the expense of your relationship with Jesus the wealthier you are the more passionate you will be about the things of God with it you will be a blessing to many with it you will be a blessing to yourself listen I'm not praying for you for money to just buy tea and bread you don't need my prayer for that to happen just be valuable I'm praying for you to become a trustee a trustee of the wealth of the kingdom receive it in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for someone tonight may this mantle of honor that can cause all and sundry to acknowledge God in your life and to reward you as matching your true worth may that grace rest upon you may that grace rest upon you 
so shall it be in Jesus name some of you the sign that will rest on you is the favor of God for some of you the sign that will work will rest on you is the healing anointing for some of you the sign that will rest on you is strange influence inexplainable influence for some of you the sign that will rest on you is speed that cannot be described for some of you the sign that will rest on you is a demonstration of the gift of the spirit at a level that men have not seen for some of you the sign that God will give you is empowerment in your mind extraordinary intelligence but by all means may that sign be represented in your life I and the children that the Lord has given me the Bible says we are for signs for signs for signs there are worshipers that will become signs you will not just sing songs there will be mysteries from your voice to the nation there are preachers that will not just be preachers as it were but signs and wonders your life becomes a case study that men use your life to learn God financial signs arise favor signs arise intercessor signs arise in the name of Jesus Christ I command every devil that has found his way into the bodies of God's people eye conditions blood conditions in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I stretch my hands by faith from nation to nation region to region we bring you life even by the spirit be healed right now in the name of Jesus be healed right now in the name of Jesus from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet cancer be healed now migraines be healed now eye conditions be healed now blood conditions be healed now peptic ulcer be healed now bone conditions be healed now terminal diseases of all sorts in the name of Jesus be healed now and we pray for those who are lying down upon the blood the bed of affliction may the same power that raised Christ from the dead translated him from Hades and brought him back to the earth I declare that same power will take you from the bed of affliction and keep you standing on your feet now in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare in the name of he who died and is today exalted and seated at the throne of the father be delivered this moment now hallelujah in the name of Jesus I'm praying right now every family that has been held down by witchcraft held down by satanic things right now I stretch my hands at the count of three let that fire rest upon you and let deliverance come receive it now one two three in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ That someone who is confused about God confused about how favor works confused about how consecration works confused about how the spirit of revelation functions in a man confused as to how men can be custodians of the mysteries of God confused as to how God can trust men with nations in the name of Jesus tonight may your life be an explanation to divine mysteries May your life be an explanation to divine mysteries. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, even as you have opened my eyes to see, I don't know whose hands these resources have must enter, but in the name of Jesus, in the name of he who died and rose from the dead 
even the one who helps men. I release these resources to your hands now. I release these resources to your hands now. Speedily so. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I call upon my God who is also your God that by his spirit who has been mandated to be the revealer of all things even the deep things of God may the spirit of revelation rest upon you may the spirit of revelation rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ and hear me for anyone here who is being oppressed because you do not have someone to help you I pray let Ebenezer arise now I'm not just praying for those in front I'm praying for someone who is scattered anywhere you have been oppressed I call on Ebenezer to arise for you now arise for you now arise for you now in the name of Jesus Christ and I declare the same way you came out here you will come and stand to testify in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ you're going to declare that every spirit that keeps me or anybody around me poor and limited begging and in servitude in the name of Jesus I curse it by the spirit open your mouth and pray pray with understanding pray with understanding pray with understanding pray with understanding many things in our lives are connected to our economic empowerment many things in our lives will make progress when economic empowerment is at work in us open your mouth and pray where they said you would die i declare leave where they have said you will go down i declare you will keep rising higher in the name of jesus christ for shame i declare receive double in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for you from the depth of my heart all that it takes under God to see this request turn to answers may they happen for you if it is growth let it happen for you if it's the ministry of men may they come speedily if it's diligence let it come for you if it's wisdom you need to engage may you receive the wisdom to engage in the name of Jesus Christ every demonic power fighting these answers i decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant they are banished and forbidden from influencing these answers in jesus name in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i call this request a harvest of answers i call this request a harvest of answers anyone here appointed unto death that by the skimmings of hell you should not see the end of 2024 i stand by the voice of prophecy and in the name of jesus i decree and declare you shall not die you shall not die you shall not die you apparatus help them please you shall not die you shall not die in the name of jesus every covenant with the grave every covenant with hades every covenant with the spirit of death we abolish it once and for all in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the ministry of fire that everyone under any captivity in the name of jesus christ by this sign that god has given may the lord himself begin to bring them out now bring them out now please help the ushers Eva Shaba Sada Veleketosh oppression comes to an end by the power of the Holy Ghost Eva Rakosha Da Fraskata Velekosh Empre Defesa Sepekelekos Yata Hallelujah 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 If you have any organ failure just place your hand there 
any organ failure heart problem any of your organs in the name that is above all names kidneys liver heart brain nervous system by the power that raised Christ from the dead I decree and declare life to that organ now 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 I have set before you an open door and no one can shut it I say it again it may not be for everybody but for someone who have prayed you have fasted in the name of Jesus Christ my God and your God I say it again doors be open now doors be open doors be open doors be open doors of ministry marital doors fruitfulness doors financial doors a fata be open hallelujah the prayer of Jonah that I will rejoice again in your salvation pray I'm still praying the Lord is speaking to me and he's saying remove the mark of disfavor there are many physically there is nothing wrong with you but in the realm of the spirit there is a mark of disfavor around you that even when you go where you should be blessed it looks like you are despised I don't know who I'm praying for but fire is coming on someone now in the name of Papa Katos Katapata every mark of disfavor at the count of three that mark must let you go now one two three let it go let it go let it go be removed from your life be removed from your destiny be removed from your life be removed from your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus career disfavor marital disfavor financial disfavor be removed from your life hallelujah you see let me tell you the truth look up please this favor is a very terrible thing when a man does not carry the favor of God in his life you're not going to be able to make progress the number one reason why people succeed in life is because of the presence of the favor of God favor with God and favor with men I still want to pray that prayer don't be tired because this will explain the tragedy behind many of your lives there are many people it should not be so no your life can't be indefinitely tied down nobody thinking about you to help you nobody calling for your help I say it again what is sitting on your destiny that will not allow favor reach you by the power of the Holy Ghost I clear it out of your life right now I clear it out of your life right now I clear it out of your destiny right now and declare every foul spirit every unclean spirit is time for you to leave let God's people go now bring them out very quickly wicked spirits that will not allow destinies to go I'm praying again every spirit tying down anyone here any man any woman I'm saying it again at the count of three let the fire fall one two three shout Jesus let the fire fall let the fire fall 
Let the fire fall. 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 In the name of Jesus. Shamalanakos. Is someone praying? Is a believer praying? God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. When God speaks, it is within his power to bring his word to pass. This is a time for your personal petitions. Go ahead, lift your voice and cry. Father, hands have been laid on my request in the name of Jesus Christ. Raise the men who become answers to this request. Break the chains that make for answers to this request. Give me the ideas that make for answers to this request. Raise the helpers that will be used by you to answer this request. Shaparato kaparatakate. La granta kaparatosh. Rapato shoto branta kaparanakatesh. Lord, visit your people. Give them encounters. Give them testimonies. Make a name for yourself that they come out of financial captivities. Let marital spells be broken. Let academic lives rise, blossom, thrive again. Let ministries blossom. Let homes receive your salvation. In the name of Jesus Christ, open up career doors by your spirit. One more minute, you are praying. Shaliberento soto prekete belekes rakata prateke peredeke tebeleketos. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, I decree and declare as your servant upon this request. We do this not as a ritual. We do this full of faith, believing that you are the God that answers all prayer. I decree and declare that in the name of Jesus, every request that has been penned down here, let it return to your people as testimonies. Let it return to your people as testimonies. Testimonies of helpers. Testimonies of new jobs. Testimonies of promotions. Miracle marriages. Miracle children. Liftings in the name of Jesus. Miracles of establishment. Miracles of deliverances. Miracles of healing. Miracles of advancement. Miracles of restoration. Miracles of overturning situations. I prophesy to you, you will laugh. Laughter to you. Laughter to you. And all who hear this will laugh with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands to receive. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. I decree and declare. The Lord brought you here for good. He brought you here for laughter. He brought you here for joy. He brought you here for rising, for victory, for testimonies. Therefore, I decree and declare every human agent anointed by God to step into your life, step into your business this week and cause you to experience victory. I declare that my God commands them to come on time. My God commands them to come on time. So command every spirit. That is back of any infirmity in the name of him who died and rose again I speak as one sent from God may that spirit leave your body now that devil of infirmity leave God's people now from America to Europe to South Africa to Kenya to Zimbabwe to Ghana to Lagos to Abuja to Joss to Kano let the healing power of God begin to flow right now be healed in the name of Jesus 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 blood conditions be healed now cancer die now HIV be healed now blood conditions of any sort we declare healing right now blind eyes
partial or complete blindness we command that you open now deaf ears be open now anyone here suffering from the issue of blood I declare be healed right now every demonic growth roaming around any part of your body there is someone fire is coming on you there's movement all over your body you literally feel things moving in your body from your head to your toe be set free right now some of them will meet them tomorrow they will be waiting for you they will bless you you will know they were sent by god to help you in the name of jesus if there is anyone here who has sincerely taken a wrong direction towards your life either by influences of friends and associations demonic manipulations we command a you turn back to the path of destiny we command a you turn back to the path of destiny we command a you turn back to the path of destiny in the name of jesus and to deliver them who are appointed unto death i pray for you if your name has been written in the list of those who must die between now and next month i pray for you by the blood of the eternal covenant we clean your name from that list we erase your name from that list i speak to you you shall not die believe it and receive it that you shall not die your children will not die your spouse will not die your parents will not die in the mighty name that is above all names the name of jesus i decree and declare where you have cried whether in secret or in open beginning from this night may the god of all grace visit you and turn your mourning to dancing and turn your sorrow to joy shout a believing amen i pray for you in the name of jesus christ receive divine direction divine direction you will know where to go to you will know who to meet in the name of jesus christ the error that comes as a result of lack of direction may it not be found in your life i am certain that the sermons you've embraced have been a wellspring of blessings lifting your life and igniting a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve god we extend a heartfelt invitation for you to subscribe to our youtube channel ensuring you remain connected and never miss any upcoming videos by activating the notification bell. Your subscription transcends a mere click. It symbolizes a dedication to continual spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled odyssey with us, as our channel strives to become a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and steadfast believers. We staunchly believe in the transformative prowess of God's Word, and our objective is to disseminate messages that deeply resonate with the essence of your soul. Become a part of our community, subscribe, and let the radiant light of divine wisdom, your presence is integral to this uplifting journey, and may the abundant blessings of God overflow in every facet of your life. Amen. Stay connected with us across all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel, and explore more on our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Gratitude fills our hearts, and may God's abundant blessings continue to grace your life abundantly.